What's up guys, first little job for the year. Should be a short and sweet one, but we've got some issues with this thing that we need to diagnose. So it's always good to make a video so that anyone who may have the same issue can potentially find a remedy. So turbo VY, manual was sweet one day, and then Dan here parked it in the shed and went, in, went to get in it the next day and it just was breaking down under load. Um, so nine times out of 10 breaking down under load, you put it down to a plug lead. Uh, once they get hot and they start to deteriorate, they will just find somewhere else to arc to uh, once you get some load or cylinder pressure in there. So uh, that's, that's what they started with, but they've done all of your standard tests that you would do. So Dan's changed plug leads, changed plugs, changed coil packs with another car that was running properly. Um, he's confirmed fuel pressure to the best of his ability on the street, and it looks like the fuel pressure's fine. He swapped out the twin 044s anyway, uh, with other ones that were confirmed to be working as well. So, you know, all of the, basically everything you want to do before you get to this point as far as fault finding has been done. Uh, so it's out here now, we can actually chuck the AFR in it, see what's going on with the thing, try and figure out why it's breaking down under load. Um, and yeah, hopefully get this thing sorted nice and easily and quick. So we're not actually back at work yet. Um, just helping Dan out. Back at work on Monday, but uh, see how we go. Thanks boys. boys and girls so the issue just ended up being the thing was just stupidly stupidly rich but obviously something had happened and it then went rich as for what that was we have no idea really couldn't say 
Um, so anyway, the best thing we could do obviously was just clean up the tune, pull a lot of the fuel out. Um, much better now. There were a few other things in the tune that needed a bit of attention. So there were a few things that just needed some general tidy up anyway. So a uh, little bit of work on the tune and ended up at 610 horsepower at the wheels, which is pretty staunch. Um, so it is a Gen 4 rotted forged piston LS1. Uh, the cam in it's unknown and then whatever turbo that is and the whole rest of the berries. But anyway, it's a pretty well sorted setup, honestly. It's pretty good. Anyway, bit of a strange one. Fuel pressure's solid. It's doing what it should do. All of the sensors for the ECU are reading fine. The only thing we did, or we don't like about the setup is the fact that the IAT sensors sort of just sat um, up here, just next to the radiator. Just sat there. It really should be obviously in the charge pipe so that it can do its job properly. We would have liked to have put uh, one in the charge pipe, a screw in one, but we don't have any in stock at the moment. So uh, unfortunately we couldn't actually change that out. But that about it, that'd about be the only thing that we really like to change in the setup so that the IAT sensor can actually do its job properly for the tune. But anyway, needless to say, it's all sorted now. Happy days. Uh, yeah, hopefully no more issues. But yeah, it is what it is. Yeehaw. Anyway, guys, cheers for watching this short and sweet one. We'll see you on the next one. Head to the merch store, check out the merch, win yourself a car. Peace out, see you boy. Right, oh guys, so I did forget to film, but we did come, we, we did get a bit further with the VY as far as what the issue was. So the boys turned that gate back down, so it just pointed sort of into the guard, which is how it was when it arrived, to go take it for a test drive on the street, and it was doing the exact same thing as it was doing, although what it was doing is the reason why Dan bought it to us. It was just breaking down under load, being stupidly rich, doing dumb shit, not working properly. Uh, so what we actually figured was that with the gate, not sorted properly and not venting to anywhere and just being in the bay, what was happening is it was recirculating, obviously, all the exhaust coming out of the gate straight back into the turbo and into the intake. Uh, so obviously this is what was making it super, super rich. Was it just recircling exhaust gas? Uh, not only that, but obviously with the IAT sensor being just sat there next to the radiator on that side, with that gate pointed at that coil tower, it was just obviously smashing that IAT sensor with heaps of heat. So IAT sensor was cooking because it was just getting all the exhaust gas from the gate and then it was recirculating all that exhaust gas straight back into the intake. Uh, and that's what the problem was. So when he originally bought the car, the dump and the gate were out, out the bonnet, so straight up. So obviously straight to atmosphere, not causing an issue, but obviously in his attempt to try and make it a bit more streetable, they built an exhaust. They hadn't got as far as building a screamer yet. And at the moment, the gate was just the way it was. Um, and that was what was really causing the problem. So um, the boys got back here, we took the bonnet off, went for a quick strap with the bonnet off, no problems, behaved awesome, did exactly what it should be doing. Obviously on the dyno, it had the bonnet up the whole time. What we should have done was do a run on the dyno with the bonnet shut, but uh, we didn't think that far. It was, uh, you know, straight off holidays, quick job. Uh, but anyway, we got to the bottom of it. He just needs a decent screamer made that's actually plumbed to outside of the engine bay and vents properly and then hopefully we can still get that IAT sensor into the intake charge pipe and it'll be happy days from there. So thanks for watching guys. As always, that was a problem, simple things, but that's cars. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, see you, bye. It's giveaway time. People have given away things since the dawn of time. A glass of water, a free egg, a four wheel drive. Put the thing out. All jokes aside, guys, this is our first giveaway car on the channel. We're trying to move things in a new direction where we can actually give back to our viewers as well as bring a lot of fun back to the content. This turbo diesel 1HZ 80 series Land Cruiser GXL is packed with accessories, making it the perfect base to start from. Whether you want to go touring, set it up as a tow vehicle, or even use it for work, the big 80 bus can do it all. Perfect for touring on-road, off-road, on the side of a hill, in space, oh, yeah, whatever, wherever you want to go. As well as what you can obviously see, we've also got a brand new 105 series 1HZ boost compensated fuel pump, completely reconditioned head, a brand new heavy duty clutch, got a winch for pulling out your patrol friends that went places they shouldn't have gone in the first place. We've also got a full dual battery setup. Before the lucky winner is drawn in February, we have some work to do, like replacing this indicator that you've been looking at this whole time. So make sure you head to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. All you have to do to enter is buy our merch. Head to our website below, there'll be a link in the description to learn more, check the T's and C's. Do you come with the car? And get your entries in to go into the draw to win yourself a good old, honest 80 series Land Cruiser.